Talking of another big club that have fallen down are in the same league as Wolves now, obviously Aston Villa, team very close to your heart. What, what, are, you, what are your early thoughts on this season? Well, prior to Steve taking over, I began, people said they'll get out of this division. I said they might, yeah, but it might not be the way they want to get out. I think Brucey coming in, I think Bruce is a great appointment. I think he knows the division. He's a personable guy. He can get, he'll get the fans, forget the Birmingham thing, he'll get the fans on his side because of the way he is. And whether, it, whether it's a bit late at the moment, I don't know. But, you know, they've had a good start. And who knows, confidence builds, they might just get themselves in the playoff. But I'm pretty sure now that in the next two or three years, he'll have them back in the top division. Bruce, he said a couple of weeks ago that he spoke to you before he took the Villa job. Yeah. Um, can you just tell us a, a, a bit about what was said that day? Just said, you know, I said, don't, don't even hesitate on that. If you've got a chance of that job, take it. Because I don't think people realise quite how massive football club Villa is. And I think Steve, I saw a quote from him last week, Steve's gone in, he's looked at the place, and he, you know, he's played there a million times for Man U, for whoever, I've been there as a Birmingham manager. But once you walk into there, you know, you've got a phenomenal stadium, great fan base, terrific training facilities, and you are working in the second biggest city in Britain. And just finally, it was um, Steve Bruce's goals, weren't it, for Manchester United, that uh, <laughs> it must have been a different feeling that you thought of him back then in night through. Well, <laughs> you know when you have moments in a season, I, I actually thought we might have nicked the league that year. They were a better team than us. But we were a good team, but they were a better team than us. But I honestly thought, because of what had happened to them the year before, that the pressure was building up on them. That day we played Coventry, drew no score, walking off the pitch. I remember one of the fans shouting, they're getting beat run. Top of the stairs at uh, Villa Park, somebody said they've equalised. I said, I'll tell you what, they will play now till they win. I spoke with Carlton Palmer, who played in the game, who said... <laughs> Carlton said he went to the temporary, there was a mix up, the, the, the referee had to get changed. So he went home and talked to the uh, temporary linesman. How long's left? He said, two minutes of added time. He said, six minutes later, we're still winning. <laughs> Trevor Francis had a great quote. He said, they won it in the second leg. <laughs> you know, I mean, that, but that was the moment I thought, and we won the next three games on the bounce, but that was the moment I thought, oh, that might be the turning point. I still think if they hadn't won that game, we might have gone on and nicked it. Talk us through you know, a couple of the, the chapters that you enjoyed uh, reliving there. I think, like I said, um, when we did the... Uh, which a lot of people tend to seem to enjoy the bit when I was working out in Madrid. Um, and there's an awful lot about Midlands stuff, you know, because obviously I've worked at Albion, Villa, Coventry and whatever, and then of course... Uh, the, the prime interest, I would guess, would be um, get about Manchester United. Uh, 